And now it's time for a Gravitas exclusive. In the year 2011, 79 American commandos descended on a compound in Pakistan. They were executing an operation to kill the most wanted terrorist in the world at the time, Osama bin Laden. Back in Washington, D.C., one man was narrating the entire operation to President Barack Obama and his team. His name is Leon Panetta. He designed the mission to kill Osama bin Laden. He was the director of the CIA and the U.S. Secretary of Defense. Tonight, we bring you an exclusive interview with the same man and some stories that have not been shared with the world. Was India kept in the loop for this operation against OBL? How much did Pakistan know? What will America do if the India-China conflict escalates? Which way is the U.S. presidential election going? What is the best way to deal with China? And is the world doing enough to hold China accountable? I spoke to Leon Panetta about all these things. Here's an excerpt from that conversation. Mr. Panetta, welcome to Beyond. Nice to be with you. After all this, these years, uh, will you say it out, out loud in so many words that the Pakistan government of the day was aware and was in fact harboring Osama bin Laden? Uh, it was, uh, you know, when we, when we discovered uh, the location of this uh, compound uh, in Pakistan, uh, it was located in a place called Abbottabad. Uh, Abbottabad uh, is uh, a center for their intelligence services, and it also uh, has a, the uh, Pakistani West Point is located there as well. This compound was three times the size of other compounds, had 18-foot walls on one side and 12-foot walls on the other side with barbed wire around it. Uh, I find it very difficult to believe that there wasn't somebody in Pakistan who was aware of this compound. Was the Pakistani establishment then confronted with what you found? Once we found the compound, we had to make a decision whether we would share that information uh, with Pakistan. Uh, and the president made the decision that because when we shared information with Pakistan about the location of terrorists, uh, they were tipped off uh, and warned uh, and suddenly were able to disappear. Because of that concern, uh, and that lack of trust, very frankly, we decided not to inform the Pakistanis about the location uh, of bin Laden, uh, and we did not inform them about the operation that we conducted because uh, we were concerned that if we did, that uh, it was likely bin Laden would be advised uh, to move. So because of what we did, I think we were able to be successful in the mission to go after bin Laden. To me, that sounds like a serious trust deficit with someone uh, or, or a government that America has throughout called an ally in the war on terror. Having said that, did the government of the US inform any other country and was India on the list? And what was the reaction from New Delhi? Well, we, uh, we had made a decision that uh, uh, if we were able to get bin Laden, uh, that uh, rather than uh, having him uh, buried uh, in, in Pakistan or elsewhere where it could become a shrine, uh, that we would bury him at sea. Uh, and to do that, we did it in the Indian Ocean. Uh, and uh, we advised uh, countries of the fact that we would bury him in the Indian, Indian Ocean. Uh, and India, as always, was uh, very supportive. Do you fear that Pakistan still harbors terrorists who pose a, a threat to the security of both the U.S. and India? I don't, I don't think there's any question that uh, Pakistan continues to have relationship with uh, uh, various terrorist uh, groups in Pakistan. Uh, we were very concerned, obviously, uh, when uh, you know, we, were, we were fighting a great deal in Afghanistan. Uh, that there were terrorists who were coming across the border of Pakistan in order to attack our forces. Uh, and we continued uh, to complain to Pakistan that they had to take steps to prevent that from happening. Uh, they never really did. Uh, and they also, I think, used terrorism uh, as a vehicle to undermine stability, not just uh, obviously in Afghanistan, but also in India. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think the United States expressed uh, a lot of concerns 
that Pakistan had to do more to deal with terrorism uh, in their country. You've always advocated deeper defense ties between India and the U.S., but there was a time when New Delhi was, uh, for want of a better word, reluctant to be seen as a military ally of America. Things have changed. Now the two countries call each other strategic allies, and they're meeting uh, in a matter of days. Uh, the Quad meeting is going to happen, uh, and, and this is being seen as an alliance to counter China. What role do you see in this new strategic uh, equation that is back in focus, the Quad? Uh, I think it's critical that countries that believe in democratic principles, that believe in the values of freedom and liberty and the ability to self-govern and the dignity of the individual, that those countries should work together uh, when it comes to security. Uh, and I, I am concerned uh, that there have been events uh, on the China-India border uh, that uh, have occurred recently that always raise the specter of potential conflict. Uh, and I think we have to make very clear to China uh, that the United States will stand with India uh, if there is any conflict in that region. Do you think the United States and, and other global institutions and leaders are doing enough to hold China accountable for what uh, the world has suffered this year? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, no, I don't. I think that, uh, you know, we are essentially in a Cold War uh, with China. Uh, and I, I think that China has uh, taken steps to try to take advantage of uh, opportunities because uh, they view the United States as uh, pulling back from responsibilities in the world, whether it's with trade uh, or in other areas. Uh, and they've taken advantage of that. Uh, and uh, they also continue, frankly, uh, their military aggressiveness in developing uh, and militarizing really the islands in the South China Sea, uh, in the approach they've taken to Hong Kong, in the approach they've taken uh, towards Taiwan. Uh, they have been uh, particularly uh, aggressive. And uh, we also have had obviously a difficult relationship with regards to trade. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, obviously we express a tremendous amount of concern with China with regards to uh, the failure really to alert the world uh, to COVID-19 and the dangers that all of us are now experiencing as a result of that. Look, I, I think it's important to have a dialogue with China. Uh, I think it's important to continue to communicate uh, with China's leaders, but I think we have to do it from a position of strength. Uh, I would say that uh, to India, I would say that to others that deal with China. Uh, the only way you can deal with China is from a position of strength. That means maintaining our military strength and making very clear that there are lines that China should not cross. Do you think India is doing that? Uh, I think the United States is, uh, is making those points clear. Uh, I think India is making those points clear. Uh, and I think to that extent, uh, you know, my sense is that China will think twice about uh, any aggression in that part of the world. Mr. Leon Panetta, thanks very much. It was a very engaging conversation, sir. Nice to talk to you. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Rion, world is one.